And I want to real quickly do a psalm to set the, don't worry, this won't be the normal to healing time. We won't go very deep. Just read it and interpret what it says with the Peshat understanding, the traditional understanding of most of these words. This is Psalm 121. That's Kof, Kaf, Aleph. Shir lama olot esai enai el heharim. A song for going up, for Allah, for a sense. This is one of the psalms that the Levis would say when they ascended the steps at the Beit HaMikdash, the temple. As they were going up the steps. Uh, our tradition says that on each step they would recite a different psalm. The certain Levis, the ones who were part of the Shirim, the singers group. Esa enai, I lift up my eyes, el heharim, unto the mountains. May I in Yavo Ezri, from where comes my Ezer, my help? Ezri me im Adonai, my help is from with Adonai. And this this may im, sometimes we see this, this is impacted by cognate languages. Uh, well, at least our understanding of it is it can mean the source is, right? The source of my help is Adonai. So it may not be Adonai himself, he may send a Malach. Or some, he may send a person, but nevertheless, the source, the inspiration of the help is from Hashem. Who is Hashem? Ose Shemayim Ba'aretz, the maker of heavens and earth. Al yitein lamot raglecha. He will not allow, literally give or set or place to totter your foot. So you won't twist your ankle or anything. Al yanum shomrecha. Your Shomer. What is a Shomer? One of Hashem's accolades, one of his divine titles is the Shomer Israel. And this psalm reminds us, of course, well, it's coming up, that Lo Yanum Lo Yishan Shomer Israel, the, the one, the watchman of Israel. This is the opposite. If you remember, if you draw short back, we talked about the Shomer. The Shomer is the one who's got your evil intent in mind. Someone who watches you, perhaps a wicked neighbor or perhaps a co-worker, or someone who hates you, and they watch you, hoping for you to fail. That's a shorer, and sometimes causing it. Hashem is the opposite. He is our shomer. He is the one who safeguards Israel, who keeps Israel. And the same with the same word that applies to how we keep the Shabbat, the day which Hashem himself chose, which no man can change. And it's said to be Shabbat le'olam ba'ed, forever and ever. And othi le'olam, it is a sign forever, not until I said, my son, then you get to pick whatever day you feel like, as long as you have the principle of Shabbat, Wednesday is cool, man. Not that. The same way that he shomer, that we shomer the Shabbat, he shomers us. So beware if you are mecholel Shabbat, one who one timely violates the fourth commandment, his Shabbat. So, this is the one who does not yanum, he does not slumber. He's watchful. He's attentive. He has a keen eye. His panim is turned towards us. He is watching us with good intent as a shomer. Hine lo yanum velo yishan shomer Israel. The famous line, behold, or something more like, look, look, check it out. He doesn't slumber. He will not fall asleep. The Shomer Yisrael, this divine title. You can even pray to him as Shomer Yisrael when you are begging for Shalom, Jerusalem, for peace in Jerusalem. When you are begging for the current wicked administration leading the United States to not open up another deal with the leading terrorist regime, Iran, in the world, you pray to Shomer Yisrael. Please, Shomer Yisrael, protect us, send aid. Annul all of the plans of the wicked, no matter how powerful or what office they might be in. Adonai Shomrecha, Adonai Tzilecha, Al Yad Yeminecha. This is very comforting. This, this is worth memorizing. I highly recommend memorizing at least this line. Really, the two together are so powerful. And also, Adonai Shomrecha, Adonai Tzilecha, Al Yad Yeminecha. Adonai is your protector, He is your Shomel. Adonai is your shadow. Of course, to Middle Eastern peoples, shadow is highly valued. Which is very funny to me when 
those who would do theological somersaults try to say, or they try to translate, oh, <laughs> you know, the Torah, it's just a shadow of the things to come, as if that's bad. <laughs> Adonai is our shadow. So it means we don't have Adonai as our Lord anymore because he is our sail. This is one of the powerful things about reading the text in the Hebrew. You cannot get to see so easily. Adonai is your sail. He is your shadow. Just as the Torah is our shadow. Al Yad Yaminecha. By the power of your right hand. Or, at the, or with the power of your right hand. Or with the position of your right hand, it's kind of interesting. Literally, it says over Yad, over hand, of Yaminecha, of your right hand side. But Yamin also means the right hand. So it's very interesting. Yomam Hashemesh lo yakecha. The Yareach balayala. By daytime, the sun will not strike you. It will not nacha you. And nor the nighttime moon nor the moon in the evening. It's kind of interesting. How does the moon strike someone? So <laughs> this is kind of open to interpretation here, whether it could be the legend of people becoming moonstruck or the, the things that could happen in the night. I suppose you could infer that on a full moon, this is a good time for an enemy to attack, right? This is pre-night vision goggles tech times that we're talking about here. So we will not even be struck during the light of the moon, we will be protected by our shomer, by our shadow. Adonai yishmocha mikol ra. Adonai will safeguard you. Again, playing on the, that he's the shomer. So when you read in the Hebrew, you know, we, we might we might miss it in English. But there's look at this. You've got look at this, friends. We've got shom. We have shomer. Pardon me. Shomoecha. Shomer. Shomoecha. Yishmocha, Yishmo, Yishmo. You see, it keeps repeating. There's a theme. Bam, bam, bam in the psalm. He protects. He's our keeper. He protects. He's our keeper. Adonai Yishmocha. He will protect you. He will safeguard you. Again, those who read the Torah in the Hebrew, this will bring, you can't not think about this. I put you, you can't not think about it, that we are to keep the Torah. And this is the word. For someone who is a keeper of the Torah, you can say you're a shomer mitzvot, you're shomer mitzvot, you're a keeper of commandments, right? Someone who keeps Shabbat is shomer Shabbat, one who keeps the Sabbath, who protects the Sabbath. And so, as I've shared with you many times, there are many Hebrew words that they have a kind of a, a different nuance when Hashem is the subject versus when we are the subject. Like emunah is one of the great examples. So, when we say that we have emunah, we have faith, Right? We are trusting in him, and the more, the longer we have emunah, uninterrupted, the more we have betachon, we have confidence, security, we have, we have this trust in Hashem, that he is the one who will protect us from all evil. And so, with the case with Shema, oh, I'm sorry, with emunah, when it's Hashem who we're talking about with emunah, when we say, Rabba emunah techa, or Rabba emunah to, great is his emunah, we're not saying that he has faith in us, like he's counting on us to do things, right? What we're saying is that he keeps his promises. He keeps the faith with us. It's more like, in a way, it's almost like fidelity. And so here, Shamar is the same thing, same kind of dynamic. We are the ones who keep the mitzvot, and he is the one who keeps us, right? It's not like we're some kind of rule or something that he has to do. So you can see the nuance. It changes when HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the subject versus us. And I want to read here real quick an interesting comment uh, let's see, we've got some comments here. Sorry, I had them behind my screen. So let's see. Oh, that's nice. Janine memorized it in the Hebrew a long time ago. That's good. Yeah, nice, nice. It is beautiful and assuring, yes. And Esau says, actually, the moon can strike. It affects the tide in the sea. Oh, interesting. And 75% of our bodies are water. When there's a full moon, I often can't sleep. That is interesting. Huh. Very, very interesting. Nice point, Esau. Okay, so continuing on. With the fact that Adonai Yishmarecha, or pardon me, Adonai Yishmarecha, he's the one who protects you, safeguards you from all ra. That's not just from all evil. Oftentimes people, they take it very literally with the gloss of this word meaning evil. But ra, as we saw recently, it's anything bad, like anything that is disagreeable to you, right? Like losing money in the stock market might not be evil. But for you, it's ra. It's bad, you see? So this is really what the psalm is saying. He protects us from any kind of bad happenings 
that are not good for you. Sometimes something seems like it's ra, and then when you look back in the future from five years later, oh, I'm so glad that happened. That made me grow. You know, if I hadn't lost that money in the stock market, I wouldn't have done X, Y, Z, starting up a business or whatever. And so it, it might only appear that it's raw, but really it's not. From the perspective of heaven, it is not. From providence. Yishmoet nafshecha. He is the one who safeguards your life. Adonai yishmoetzeitecha uvoecha me'atta ve'ad olam. Adonai safeguards your going out, your yatza. <laughs> and your boecha, you're coming in. This is a military term. When you go out and when you come in, like if in the book of Joshua, it says that Yehoshua, Joshua, was then to replace Moshe as the one who would lead the people out and lead them in. Go out and come in, meaning going out to war. But you're leaving your camp, you're leaving the comfort of your home, of your country, etc. And then you come back in with the spoils of war. Me'ata from now until when? Me'at olam. Until eternity. Any comments or questions on the psalm? The blessing of reading that and seeing how beautiful our poetry is. Yes, indeed. Tet says it is good to remember in these times. Dr. Ur says, is that being a lunatic? Right, since it's the, the in many old languages, the word for moon, including Russian, is luna, right? And so a lunatic is someone who's affected by the moon. Isa, I think that's a hint about you. <laughs> That's as good to remember these times. True.